Well, this is exciting news. Why is it exciting? Well, because BYD are going to be selling the BYD Tang, this new updated refreshed model in overseas markets. Who knows where? But I mean, they're selling their cars all over the world now. There's India, there's South America, apparently in the United States, apparently going to go there as well. They're coming to Australia, to the UK, to Europe, to Norway, to New Zealand. Who knows? Maybe all of us will have access to this vehicle. That's why it's so exciting. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you today. Hope you've had an awesome day. Now, thank you for subscribing to the channel, for liking the videos, and you know what? For supporting the clean energy movement, which is what this channel is all about. In fact, it's not just about that. It's about not being an idiot. Who wants to suck in petrol and diesel fumes? Just stand inside your garage, close the garage door, turn in your car, and see how you feel in a couple of hours. Not real good if you're not dead. So why is it any different? Why is the real world any different? Do you really want to sit in traffic with millions of cars around you, spitting out the fumes that are going to kill you if you put them into an enclosed room? No, you do not. So thank you for supporting the movement away from stupidity towards better, towards more good. Anyway, you get my point. Thank you to the Patreons of the channel. There's about 60 of you now. Awesome to see so many of you coming on board and just helping me with this, helping us make this more and more people know about this. And as you know, I'm not partisan towards one political party or to one's, towards one car brand. I don't just sit around and talk about Tesla all day. I don't just sit around and talk about GM all day. I talk about everything that's going on in the car industry. And I talk about battery technology. I try to keep this information coming to you so that you're not getting a partisan sort of an opinionated viewpoint here. You're getting a general viewpoint, learning as much as possible. Now, a new model of the BYD Tang EV just made its appearance on the Chinese Ministry of Industry and Information Technologies catalog with a slightly updated design. But the most important thing I'll get to in just a second. The company previously launched the BYD Tang EV internationally in regions like Norway, and this is its successor. Now, the most prominent design change is in the front of the vehicle, which now comes with a nice, modern-looking, minimal grill. I definitely prefer this grill over how it looked before. Now, the old model featured a grill that occupied a fairly big part of the front of the EV, but the newer design comes with a smaller one with chrome trim. The newer grill also holds the Tang car logo. Don't know about you, I'm not personally a big fan of chrome trim. I like the Tesla chrome trim delete option. I would delete that option if I could. So the rest of the body hasn't changed a whole lot. The rear and sides of the vehicle are almost indistinguishable from the old model, which is fine. It looks good. Why change something that isn't broken, right? Now, there is one change, which is hard to notice, but it's a pretty big advantage. The body length has increased. As such, the length, width, and height of the new BYD Tang EV are 4.9 meters, 4,900 millimeters, 1,950 millimeters in width, and the height is 1,725 millimeters. The wheelbase is 2.8 meters. You're going to find this car is actually pretty big on the inside. Overall, it's a bit bigger than a Tesla Model Y which has already got an enormous boot. So the interior space is gonna be quite big, especially seeing as that's one of the huge benefits of an electric car, right? You can have a longer wheelbase, you can have way more space inside the vehicle, there's no transmission tunnel, there's no motor at the front that compromises interior space and wheelbase length. Now, what about this? Now, what about the motor? It has an electric motor with a 168 kilowatt, which is around 229 horsepower, and the power has actually been reduced when compared to its current single motor version of the tank. Why? Well, for a very good reason. I'll get to that in just a second. Now, there will be, don't worry, there will be a dual motor all-wheel drive version coming and it'll be launched soon. So, why have they given it a bit less power? It's still got a, I mean, the single motor version is still very powerful. The dual motor version will probably have two of these motors. That's normally what BYD does. So that would mean it would have about 340 kilowatt, would make it very, very fast. But they detuned a little bit, I think, this would be my guess, to make the battery last longer. Range is more important for most buyers 
than outright power, unless you don't have enough power, but clearly this has enough power, so why not increase the range? Now the lithium ion phosphate blade battery of the new BYD Tang EV has been upgraded with an increased energy density rising from 140 watts per kilo to 150 watts per kilo. I believe this makes this battery the most energy dense mass market lithium ion phosphate battery on the market. But to those of you experts who know all these little details, let me know in the comment section below if I'm right on that. I think I am, but let me know. Now, this is a pretty big upgrade. What does it mean? It means the range is now 700 kilometers. You probably real world range, I think realistically would be more like 580, but still, that's a long way and you don't need a bigger range than this car. Seriously, you do not need a big range than this. I want this car. I'm gonna put it out here on the channel now. If this car comes to Australia, I will buy one. Yep, it's there. You'll see reviews as soon as it comes. BYD Australia or Nextport. Guys, I'm putting my hand up here. I wanna buy one. Put me on the list. I know they're coming to Australia eventually. I don't know when. I'm gonna try and find out when though. And as soon as I get one, I'll review it. I'll look at all the details and I'll let you know. I won't take it apart like Sandy Munro, but I'll try and find out everything I can about the car so you can know what it's like to own a BYD. Now, there's currently three BYD Tang models on offer. That is the long range version, the four wheel drive high performance version, and the four wheel drive high performance flagship version, which is like a luxury version. Now, apparently this vehicle will be unveiled at the Guangzhou Auto Show on November the 19th. And I think it's very likely we're gonna have more information about this new car when it's unveiled at that motor show. So I'm kind of excited to see the car, the release of this car at that show, because hopefully one day I'll own one. What about you? Would you own one of these if you could? If it was priced at an affordable price, which I basically guarantee it will be, would you actually buy one? Let me know in the comments below. Now, interestingly, in other news about BYD that I haven't talked about on the channel before, but I thought I should mention this, Samsung sold their 1.6% stake in BYD, which was worth around 1.3 billion US dollars when they sold it back in September. It would now be worth a lot more than that. So Samsung, you just did a Toyota. For those of you who don't know, Toyota bought a significant stake in Tesla in the early years. They still own that stake, which they clearly don't. They sold it well before Tesla's massive rise. It would actually be worth one fifth of the entire Toyota Motor Corporation business, or around 50 billion US dollars. Now, if you hold BYD stock, don't do a Toyota, don't do a Samsung. Hold on to it for 10 years at least. I believe they're gonna become one of the largest automotive manufacturers on the face of the planet, and they're already the third largest battery manufacturer. Thanks for watching the channel, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking and supporting this movement. I really appreciate your support, especially on Patreon and in terms of becoming members of the channel. Thank you also to those of you who have become members recently. If you wanna join up on Patreon, I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks again, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.